So I want to talk about the irrational fear of bugs. Is it really that irrational? So, you know, for thousands of years, insects have been known to cause mass death. Uh, black plague, uh, mosquitoes took out the French early in America's history. Um, mosquitoes, pests, bugs, especially the, the most of the world was harvesting crops. When bad bugs came like aphids, they would destroy crops. People would die and suffer. We've always equated insects with a negative experience that really hasn't left. Even though most of us don't farm for a living or have a farm in our backyard, we still equate insects with fear. It's not just the immediate fear, but we've been trained since our early childhood. Our parents and our parents and our parents have always been looking at insects with a disdain. The one bug or insect or beetle that we do equate with good is the ladybug because when lady, ladybugs came on the scene, they would eat the bad insects, and farmers always equated ladybugs with abundant harvest. So everybody always has a smile when they see a ladybug. So don't feel so bad you're afraid of a little insect. For thousands of years, human, humankind has been looking at insects with a dread because of either plague, death, or lack of harvest or crops. So if you're just like everybody else, you know, uh, some insects are good, uh, we should learn to love insects. We should learn to love the benefits of insects. Uh, not all insects are bad. I still flinch when I see a large uh, you know, erratic spider. I have to be perfectly honest, there's nothing like being trapped in a small crawl space with a big wolf spider <laughs> staring at you. Uh, snakes are not my favorite either. I've never been bitten by a snake, but handling uh, you know, a six foot rat snake when it's snarling at you still gives me a, you know, uh, twitch and I have to back away.